carpet moths. Um, if you've got a proper infestation, which I have to confess I probably have, but I think I've caught it um, because I know they tend to go in places that you don't access. What happened here was where I was ill last year, I didn't move things around the edge of my main carpet. And when I did, I found them and I sprayed. And where I have sprayed, they have not come back. That prayer rug was underneath my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I haven't moved that, so that'll tell you. However, if you've got a lot of them, you can buy bombs, foggers. Now, I have got um, one of these Amazon influencer list things. You will find the link to it will be in my bio, which is there. Yes, it's a shameless plug. Um, but if you go into the influencer list, I list things that are useful. Uh, you don't have to buy them from Amazon. That's fine. Although if you do, obviously I do earn a bit of commission from that. So your choice. Um, I've listed some. The thing with foggers, you do have to move things like fish and pets out of the way. But generally speaking, they're a really good idea because it produces a very fine mist. You you tidy up, make sure everything's tidy and that a mist can reach. So you wouldn't leave the washing on the floor. You put the washing in the sheet. Make sure the place is tidy. Vacuum. Always a really good thing to do. Make sure that the way under things is clear. So, for example, I've got a throw on my sofa and I would put the throw in the washing machine so that any fog could go under my sofa quite easily. Um, and then you set off the bombs and leave them. Usually you have to leave them for 12 hours. So if you haven't got pets, the great thing that you can do is tidy up and hoover the night before. And then just before you go off to work, you set them off in the places and disappear off to work and come back. Um, otherwise, you can go out for the day, take the dogs out for the day, maybe send the rabbit to go and board with somebody for a couple of days. But the foggers and the bombs produce such a fine mist, they get into all the fine nooks and crannies. And they are, to be fair, what if you paid a professional company to do, they would pretty much do. And then to belt some bootstraps, you can get a can of the spray and make sure you spray in places you think the fogger might not have reached.